state-of-the-art technologies, innovative business strategies, behind the scenes, insights from cutting-edge users around the globe on World Business Review with Alexander Haig. The search for alternatives to foreign oil has intensified. That means nuclear power is back in the national limelight. Westinghouse Electric has the latest. Today, safe, clean, affordable energy is not simply a matter of economics, but one of national security. However, with perceptions of what they are, nuclear energy needs to show above anything else that it is safe, especially when new plants are being considered. The reason the AP1000 is safer than existing plants has to do with two factors. One is the simplicity of the design. The design for the AP1000 uses less pumps, less valves, less of other major active components, and that simplicity in and of itself adds to the safety of the AP1000. Uh, the second reason is that its reliance on basic principles of physics to operate, things such as gravity, uh, condensation, and natural recirculation are what actually provide the ultimate safety for the AP-1000. So you have less reliance on these components, less of those components, and then you have the application of these principles, which has been certified. And when you couple those two, you do get a, a reactor that's much safer than, than the designs that are out there today. After safety comes economics. Nuclear today is very competitive with conventional plants. The operations, maintenance, and fuel costs of nuclear uh, today allow it to be the lowest cost supply for generation versus any of the fossil fuels, oil, gas, or coal. And when you look at new construction with the design like the AP-1000, the simplicity that I mentioned allows you to actually build the plant on a much shorter schedule. When it comes to the environment, one concern raised focused on greenhouse gases. Well, nuclear power plants split the atoms in uranium fuel to produce steam, which in turn generates electricity. Uh, about one-fifth of the electricity used in the United States and about 16 percent of all electricity used internationally. Uh, we need new nuclear uh, power plants internationally because there's a significant demand for electricity uh, across the world and we also need clean air and with nuclear energy we can have both. Interestingly enough, public opinion has begun to swing towards the positive regarding nuclear power. There's a growing public uh, understanding and acceptance of the clean air benefits of nuclear energy as well as an understanding that we need a lot of new electricity supply uh, for the future. So all those uh, factors put together, about 70 percent of Americans uh, think that nuclear energy should be an important part of our energy future and we should continue to uh, have the option to build new plants. The bottom line is that America needs clean, domestically produced energy. New plants look to be a part of our national energy directive. In many parts of the world, like in the Republic of Korea, new plants are in fact being built. Westinghouse became involved initially in the late 1970s when we supplied the first nuclear power plant to South Korea. Uh, since that time, we've provided engineering, uh, technology, and equipment to support another 12 operating units, and more are under construction. Uh, in 2002, we were lucky enough to receive contracts for four additional units, and we're not currently under discussions for two more units in South Korea. So it's a very, very robust program. From medicine to nuclear power, technology has advanced dramatically over the past 25 years. In most cases, what's available today bears little resemblance to what came before. With global events being what they are, it may just be time to re-educate ourselves and revisit the promise of nuclear power. For World Business Review, I'm Bruce Gaster reporting.